the north summit of Mount Sentinel. My original plan was to come up over the north summit of Mount Sentinel and then up the west ridge of University Mountain and photograph south facing down the hillside into Patty Canyon down into the Bitterroot Mountains based on a shot that I scouted a week or two ago. I kind of had the inkling when I was there I thought this might be my only chance this season and I think it was my only chance. I put on my telephoto lens to just zoom in on the hillside to just check out the density of the bloom still and it looks like most of it has has dropped off so i don't know if it's worth it the trip over there this evening i think i'm gonna have to wait for next season instead actually on my way up i found a patch of flowers that looks amazing it actually looks really promising tonight and that caught my attention so i'm gonna pivot i'm gonna pass on the university mountain shot and i'm gonna instead whew, head back down the mountain a couple hundred feet to that patch and scout out a composition. Light was filtering through this tree, side lighting a single stalk of lupin flower here, right in the foreground. And the North Hills right now, they don't look real. They look high definition. There's something about the clarity of light tonight that's relatively unhazy considering how warm it is. Ridiculous. Well, I'm sitting in the middle of the trail and it's not generally good etiquette to be sitting in the middle of the trail with stuff strewn about, so I'm gonna scout out a forever composition. By that I mean one I'm gonna stick to for the rest of the night. got a shot framed up here it's a little weird what I'm not sure of tonight is what's gonna happen with the light the last outing I did two days ago it was so definitive there was a perfect gap clearly no mid-level or high-level clouds obscuring it 
and it was all but certain that that sun was going to pass through that gap and it did and it was spectacular but tonight there's some mid-level clouds on the horizon but it's difficult to tell how far they extend this is one of those gambling nights where you just place your bets on whether or not the light's going to happen all right it took some doing but i finally <laughs> finally got this framed up let me show you what i'm working on here so the image I have framed up here is looking through this patch of lupin down and kind of swirling down to the north hills there and then some neat clouds in the sky. I'm just going to keep taking images of this through sunset. This is my forever image tonight. I am going to do some focus stacking but I'm going to leave some of these really close lupin out of focus. They already play so prominently in terms of their size and their scale that I'm going to leave them soft to take a little bit of attention away from them and help them balance a little bit better in the frame. I purposely tried to find a position where the sun was blocked by the tip of this lupin, um, just to kind of obscure it and let the light flow through the frame instead. So that's it. I'm gonna do, eh, let's do F11. There's a tiny breeze as usual. And so we are gonna just make sure we freeze this in place. That was really amazing. When I was walking up Sentinel and route to University Mountain and past this meadow of flowers, I thought, oh my gosh, that's incredible. I should probably just go there. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for better light. It just came through at the very end. The sun was partially obscured by a cloud, but had enough light coming through to slightly side light these lupin, which was a really nice touch. It gave a little bit more separation between them. When I started the Wildflower Diaries back in early, mid-May, something like that, I really, I really didn't think I was gonna finish. I really didn't think I was gonna do 30 of these. And there were some days I really thought about abandoning it and going, what's the point of this? But it was all about discipline. I started this series off the pretext that moving back to Missoula, I wanted to get into a daily discipline of going out and photographing this place during arguably its most picturesque season. And I wanted something more than just still photography with me to compel me to think creatively when I went out into the hills. Before I sign off on this final Wildflower Diaries vlog, I just wanna thank everybody who's watched these. You don't have to, you know? I hope nobody's forcing you to watch these. Just like doing these and being out in the hills took me out of my head and made me feel at peace and calm. I hope these videos relate at least a little bit of that. All right, signing off for the last time. Thanks for watching, bye.